Yeah, right. I mean, it's, it's the Chuck Berry car, you know? Yeah. I actually never have seen this model live. Is that, is that a win vintage one, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's like a, you know, the, the English guys play Sion, like Jim Page plays Sion. Right. And only one of them is Chuck Berry. And I got uh, booked for the Rock and Roll Hall, Hall of Fame to do a tribute concert along with about 50 other people uh, for Chuck Berry. And I was the only one said, well, I'm going to bust out the blind three fifth because that's the only play. Right. You know? I impressed only one person there, me. You know, I was like, you know, but um, it was um, it, it was great. But you don't really realize because they're they're a weird scam. I mean, check it, they're short scale skin neck, so you can't really shred on it. But right, but you know, it forces you to do a lot of things that you don't normally do on a guitar because of the no sustain block in it. No sustain block. Yeah. Right. Like, so I use I, when I play it on the stage, I I use uh, two combos and I right. use like, two victorious and it won't blow up, but it, it's good Marshall. It's over, you know. Well, you know, let's talk a little bit of, about your acoustic play, because um, the main topic of this interview is and very interesting for acoustic guitar readers, how you break down songs of yours. Acoustically. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the biggest challenge about the whole tour last summer, right. when we showed up, we had a list of 20 songs, and I, I had been home, and I, I, you know, sat there for about two weeks, and I would have shifted the songs. But I would play the song, you know, like Seagull. Bad Company. Yeah, and we did a version of it, an electric version of it, um, on a record, and so I play Seagull, and I go, showed that you're a good songwriter. It, it definitely stripped away some of the bells and whistles and exposed some songs to be better than maybe face bad. Mm -hmm. And so that was the thing of, because it could have gone the other way, where it could have been, you strip it down and go, you know, this, right. this thing is one chord, you know? But we were pretty ambitious though. We, we were doing the big electric tune, we did slow train, we did, you know, uh, John Henry, we did all these stuff that I didn't think we were going to kind of um, uh, even, even, you know, you know, transpose well. But it, it, was, it was a great experience. 